Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Sounds of Garble. I am Brock Burley. I'm going to cut right straight to the chase here. No, no filler, no rambling. We need some different stuff here. I've been talking about wrestling a lot. I've been talking about movie reviews a lot. We need to kind of do something different here. So I decided, seeing as how it is so wonderfully and disturbingly easy to find anything sex-related online, I decided to go on said internet and find some very, very funny and odd sex stories. Some really bad sex stories. You know, because sometimes, you know, me being an adult, you know, you can, you need an adult laugh. You know, fart jokes and observational humor, things like that. That can be funny. But sometimes you just need a good, hearty adult laugh. And what, what's more adult than sex stuff? And what's, what's be- what kind of adult laugh is better than laughing at someone else's sexual misfortunes? I don't know. We're going to see. So, here we go. Bad sex stories. I'm going to be reading them off to my left on an iPad because I don't have a little box here to read it off of. I don't have production anything. So just bear with me. Let's go. He rubbed his dick. This one's called Really Bad Aim. He rubbed his dick between my butt cheeks until he came, not realizing he wasn't actually inside of me. It was not deliberate. And that's the end of the story. Short, to the point, and kind of a head-scratcher, because how, how could you not know? I mean, there is a difference. I mean, even to the most inexperienced person, I mean, you got to know there's a difference. Maybe he just didn't make it there. Maybe, or maybe he's just really fucked in the head. Could be any nowadays. I mean, could be any. This one is called Crushed by Sex. Okay. It was with my ex-boyfriend. This is a woman writing this story. It was with my ex-boyfriend. I am a pretty small person, 5 feet tall, 95 pounds, and he is big. Plus, he had gained weight. He is 6'3 and 250 pounds. Bit of size difference. He was on top of me and refusing to use his arms to support his upper body, causing him to rest his entire chest weight on me. You're not going to use your arms? I mean, support and... Kind of like, you got to use your arms for like balance, propping up and helping position and just balance. Like, dude, what the fuck, you lazy fat bastard? I kept telling him to prop himself up, but he kept saying his arms were tired. From lifting up sandwiches all day, you big fat bastard. I was basically suffocating. I started wheezing very loudly and needed my emergency inhaler. To make things worse, he got mad at me for ruining the moment. You got mad at her for ruining the moment. Your fat ass is crushing her little body, and she's ruining the moment by having a health scare? You selfish Fucking pig piece of crap. I hope the only thing you're having sex with right now is your hand or a jar of mayonnaise, you sad fucking human being. And in brackets, that fat bastard, or fat boyfriend, I should say, gave me an asthma attack. Well, that's obvious, and I feel for you if you're watching or listening. I... I, I'm glad you said ex-boyfriend. I'm glad you kicked his lumpy ass to the curb. Blowjob equals bite job, question mark. Was with a girl whose blowjob technique involved a lot of teeth. It's not supposed to. Continuing on. She also tried to deep throat me, which just ended up painfully bending my dick. Since she did not quite understand the throat part. Ladies, I, I know some of you, most of you probably already know this from sex, sexual health or whatever, or just general common fucking sense. Sometimes the male appendage has a bit of a bend to it. Sometimes. Or natural curve. I should say natural curve. 
it's not supposed to bend. It's not supposed to bend. It's not supposed to twist. It's not supposed. It's not a stretch fucking Armstrong doll. All right. Don't fucking bend it. All right. Here we go. Let's keep going. What the fuck is with all this biting? I met a guy on eHarmony, and after our second date, we went to his apartment to basically get drunk and have sex. So far, by today's standards, that's pretty fucking normal. He goes down on me, and after a few minutes, I end up in excruciating pain. I look down to see blood everywhere. He bit off a piece of my fucking vagina. How could you be that bad at oral to is that even it or is this guy like a fucking werewolf hound vampire fucking something you'd read about in a fucking Stephen King book what the fuck is wrong with you seriously who the fuck finds that pleasurable I mean yes nibbling whatever I get that but to full on chomp a piece of the female uh, like, dude the fuck my God in heaven. Jesus, Lord. See a doctor. Get your fucking teeth removed, you fucking cannibal. This one's called Don't Over Cologne Your Cock. Now, I'm sure most guys have done this. I did it once with a can of Axe. Remember Axe body spray and you... Tss, tss. Yeah, well, I... Tss, tss, after a shower going before going to a bar one night when I was like 19 or 20. That shit burns. Don't do that. It burns, and it, what, don't. Anyways, so, go on with the story. I dated this guy for a few weeks, then came sex time. Not just any time, sex time. Could have gotten rid of a word or two there, just, sure just said, let, then came sex. Sex time. Sounds like a fucking game show or something. Although that would be a really good game show. Anyways, moving on. We were naked and making out, then I moved to go down on him. His, his crotch smelled very strong of cologne and never dealing with it before. I started sucking him. Very aggressive way to explain oral. I started sucking him. Not, 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 not just oral, sucking. That's what vacuums do. That's what vacuums do. Not, 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 not. Anyways, moving on. It was cologne. That's what she was smelling. It was cologne, and a lot of it. My mouth was full of it, my eyes and nose started to burn, and I started throwing up. I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth and off of my face for days. It, it was Dracar Noir. Dracar Noir. That's the shit you find for like $1.50 at a gas station. What the fuck? Have some, if you're going to spray your dick with cologne... At least have some fucking respect. Like, my God. Like, you know, I know some clones are expensive, but it's fucking worth it. Like, 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 Pac or a bone. Like, he has a bunch of stuff. Um, I think he made this Invictus cologne. I was really good. I didn't spray it on my dick. But it was, it smelled really good. It was pricey, but it was really good. I mean, if you're going to sp spray your dick with something, spray it with a bit of class, huh? Mine is, you know, like I said, Pac or a bone or fucking Tommy Elfiger even or Calvin Klein or... Fucking even had a hearty. The fucking Dracar Noir, Jesus Christ, you'll smell like a fucking gas station after it's been cleaned. Jesus, have some self-respect. Here we go. KO'd by sex. Short but to the point. Shower sex with an X. It was uncomfortable. Water makes terrible lubricant. And her footing slipped from the side of the tub, and she knocked her head on the wall knocking herself out. Now she's okay. She, everything was fine. She woke up, remembered who she was and showers. I mean, they, they, it looks easy in a movie, you know, cause everything looks easy in the movies. I mean, I just watched fucking fast eight, you know, you, you really think like, Oh, look what they do with their car. Oh, man, they're fucking, they're out running a sub. You know, I want to do that. Uh, just, shit happens in movies that doesn't happen in real life. You know what I mean? Seriously, this, um, if it works for you, then fucking thumbs up to you. But holy moly. All right, we got one last one. 
Here we go. So, the most disappointing thing ever. They've been pretty disappointing so far in terms of, well, they've been funny, but for the person or people involved, kind of disappointing. But this is the most. Here we go. Longtime friend was looking to become a boyfriend. And I don't know about anyone else, but I like to test the car before I buy. Nah, eh, take it on a friend run. Why not? So, for weeks, he talked himself up, and I finally said, sure, let's give it a go. He kissed like an excited Doberman. Never kissed an excited Doberman, but... I'm sure we've all had dogs like our face before, so let's just... An excited dog. If you've had a Doberman like your face, you know exactly what she's talking about. She's like, I kept having to wipe my mouth when he would stop and let me breathe from the waterboarding I was being tortured with. If your kissing is so bad that it's being compared to waterboarding, what they use to try to try to torture, you know, a suspected terrorist back in... Actually, the Iraq War is still going on, but... Kind of, I think, I don't really care. But anyway, being compared to waterboarding when it comes to your kissing technique is not exactly... No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, we got down to the sex, against my better judgment. It's bad. Not only is his dick not as promised, but his idea of sex was putting it in, jerking it a bit, and rolling off of me. Putting it in, jerking it a bit, then rolling off me. Okay. Then he's like, let's go to bed. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. I lie and say I've got to work tomorrow. He tells me I'll get up, he'll get up early and leave and pulls me in for the most uncomfortable cuddle session. With his flaccid dick still in his nutted condom pressed against my ass, it was horrible. I never returned his calls afterwards. So, you put it in, and you're done. A few seconds. You know what? Whatever. That's not That's not even the worst. But she's trying to leave. She's like, I've got to work tomorrow. He said, oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll get up early before you have to leave for work. And then you try to cuddle, like the after-sex cuddle. And you, don't even, you didn't even take your condom off. It's, it's flaccid and still nutted up condom. <laughs> I like that phrasing, too. Nutted condom. Whew. All right. That's enough for now. So I will be back with more because let's face it, there's so much, so many stories about on the internet. I could go on for hours, but we're going to cut it short here. I'll be back with more tomorrow. I have a few other good ideas for some shows. I might do this again. I might do something different. Tune in and see. Again, I'm Brock Burley. This is the Sounds of Garble. Have yourself a good one and, uh, and, uh, don't be biting any vag. Just don't. And uh, it doesn't curve. Or it doesn't bend. It curves. It doesn't bend. Don't bite. Don't bend. Have a good one.